Hey guys, I thought I would do something different and just share with you some of my thoughts on America's Got Talent this new season. They're doing the auditions right now, and they've had two episodes, and I watched the second episode today with my mom. It's a show that I watched with my mom, and uh, we've watched, we watched all of the last season, and we watched part of the season before that, I think, so I'm kind of a recent fan of it, but uh, it's something for me to look forward to every year, and... So the judges, they've got Simon Cowell and uh, Howie Mandel, and they're two that have been there for a while. I mean, it's pretty much Simon Cowell's show, I think, so I don't know how long Howie's been there, if he's been there the whole time. Uh, the last couple seasons, they've had Mel B, who was Scary Spice from the Spice Girls, and they've had Heidi Klum, who was a model, and um, they're not there this year. They've got two other women. I don't know who these two women are but uh, kind of miss Heidi and Mel B, but at the same time, it's, it's cool to freshen up things, I guess. They also are missing Tyra Banks as the host, and instead they've got Terry Crews. Terry Crews is a pretty funny guy, but I was also accustomed to Tyra Banks, but whatever, it looks like we've got new people on the show, so... Um, one thing is that the first uh, episode had this guy who was a drag queen, so he was dressed as a woman, but dressed as a woman with a beard, and he sang. And he's a good singer, and um, so what they're doing right now is the auditions, and then if all the judges approve them, then they go forward, and then there's also a, a thing that can hit, each one of them can hit a golden buzzer, which will send the person or the act to the live auditions or the live uh, to the live show automatically so they skip all the judge cuts once all the all the audition people get picked or whatever they go to judge cuts and they narrow them down but back to what I was saying about that cross-dressing guy that's something I can do without it's not the first time they've had stuff like that on there um, but I don't see this person, that person winning at all. Hopefully they don't even make it to the finals. But um, I don't want to see stuff like that personally. I, I get it that it's entertainment. And, uh, you know, people can dress up as a lizard if they want to or walk around on all fours or whatever. But it's just this drag queen with a beard. It's a singer. And I think last year they had, like, RuPaul as one of the judges. But, you know, whatever. They've had some good acts on there, though. Um, you know, they had a, a Asian magician guy who did a really cool act. And last year, they had a um, Asian magician who won. And uh, his name escapes me right now, but uh, Shin Lim is his name. And I'm a really big fan of magic when I was growing up. I used to watch the World's Greatest Magic with my grandpa. It was shows that were on TV, and they had David Copperfield specials, and they had Lance Burton. And um, I've watched other shows that I've been on throughout my life, but that was kind of something that I share with my grandpa and, and being able to learn little tricks. You know, when you watch The World's Greatest Magic, they had the Matt King School of Magic, and he'd show you these little tricks you could do. That was always exciting for me growing up. And this is kind of um, like revisiting that. Shen Lim was so awesome last year. He definitely deserves to win it. The winner gets like a million dollars, and sometimes these acts are two people or a group, so it's not always just solo acts, and then they'd have to split the money, but they also get a show in Las Vegas, and um, so there's an Asian magician this on this one, and then Simon Cowell asked him, you know, are you better than Shin Lim, and he was like, oh, uh, well, he didn't know what to say, but... He did put on a really awesome act. He did like this close-up kind of act, but it wasn't close-up. He was doing like card tricks on a table, but he didn't have people around him. Just the cameras. And he did this thing where he was taking like cards that had like red backs on them, and then he had like a piece of um, like lace or something down the middle of this table, and then like when he would put a card underneath of it on the other side, it would be blue. And then at the towards the end of the trick, he was putting cards underneath of it, and they would turn into coins on the other side. So he did a lot of different things, but it was pretty impressive for his audition. Of course, he went forward. There were some different singers. There's some different dance acts. Um, at the end of the first season, um, 
a guy got the first golden buzzer, and there's this guy who was like autistic, I think, and he's blind. I'm not sure exactly he had a cane, but he uh, played the piano and he sang, and it was pretty amazing, you know, uh, with his condition and everything. He definitely deserved the golden buzzer. He was definitely, you know, exceptional, and looking forward to more from him. Um. I want to talk more about the second episode because that's the recent one I just watched today. Still not a whole lot that I can think of, but there's a, another magician who did like this haunted um, rocking chair thing where he had one of the women sit in the this rocking chair and he blindfolded her and he had a doll and he was like, whenever you feel this, like raise your right hand and he would like touch the doll and she would feel it and she would raise her right hand basically. And uh, so that was kind of cool. They had these three guys from Australia that were like acrobats, um, and they uh, they did like a balancing act where they balanced on each other. Um, really cool, pretty pretty phenomenal. Um, then I just remembered in the first episode there was also this human fuse guy who was like a daredevil, and he uh, had he shot himself like out of this giant like slingshot thing on fire like in midair and that was interesting um some of the audience reactions and stuff seem so fake on this show that sometimes it's kind of annoying but i still like to watch it and um and there's so much other things that i could say but i want to make this video quick um there was one on the second show where there was like tons of women dancers and I thought it was really good. They were all dressed and the uniforms the same and they they lifted their legs up really high in unison to the music and um, it just looked really so cool. They were so in sync together and there was like tons of women. They were like filling the stage and um, Howie Mandel said no to them. He said he didn't think that they were impressive. I disagree with him on that one. but. Uh, there hasn't really been any pets on there so far. Usually there's like some pets. There hasn't been a ventriloquist act. There's been a couple of comedians that were funny. Uh, there was this bigger black woman that was a comedian in the uh, first one. And then in the second episode, um, there was this guy who was born crippled with his hands. Uh, I don't know. He's, he only has like arms, like maybe not even elbow length. I don't know. And then he has like a few fingers coming out of him. I don't know what his condition is, but he was really funny, and uh, he was hilarious. Looking forward to more from him. And then when I said about that black lady, it reminded me that there was a black lady who was like in her 60s who was a singer on the second episode, and she was surprising. Uh, she said she was a singer, and then she had to go off stage to get ready for her act, and it took her a while. She came back, and she was dressed as basically like a bride and a groom, like split down the middle, and so she would like turn... Uh, to the audience with like one side and sing you know with the groom she would sing as you know the male voice and then she would like turn around and sing with the one with the with the bride with the bride's voice and uh, she was a good singer and it was an entertaining act so that was that was unexpected and that was really cool uh, at the end, the guy who won the golden buzzer in the second episode was a uh, like a black, a young, like 21, 21 year old or something. He was like a rapper and he sang. I don't know if he was deserving of the golden buzzer or not, but I mean his act was really great. I'm not saying it wasn't. Um, now we've got two singers basically with the golden buzzers, and there's two more golden buzzers to go out, I think. And maybe there might be another golden buzzer for the host because I remember like last year like Tyra got to use the buzzer so I guess Terry Crews will get to use it but that 21 year old rapper guy he said to Terry Crews before he went out there he's like if I get the golden buzzer like promise me like you'll lift me up or whatever he's like yeah it's like I'll go out there I'll throw you across the stage there was another crazy act on there where there's these guys from India there was a guy like seven foot tall six inches and a shorter guy and uh, the tall guy like laid on the ground and he had watermelons and coconuts like surrounding his body. He had like his arms and his legs spread out and they surrounded his body like the outline of it with like coconuts and watermelons. And then the other one picked up a steel sledgehammer and like first he had salt poured all over his eyes. It was like salt poured over his whole face almost and then they put like a blindfold around that so he couldn't open his eyes or you know it hurt his eyes. 
and then they had a bag put over his head and then he just started walking around just smashing the, the coconuts and stuff with the sledgehammer you know getting so close to the guy's body and then there were times where he would like miss and he would like hit around and um, sometimes he would like go over like he would hit like uh, the water like the coconut under the guy's arm and then he'd like swing and like hit one like above his shoulder and it's like whoa that's a close call like that was pretty uh, breathtaking that's a pretty amazing act it was crazy <laughs> crazy act so looking forward to the next episode I guess it's on every Tuesday night I don't know what channel it's on I'm watching it on Hulu I'm gonna watch it probably Wednesday after it's already aired but uh, I'd like to share more thoughts on this show as time goes on, so I just figured I'd share that. And uh, so far, I don't know if there's really, I don't know who would be a winning act. You know, I definitely want to see more of what other people got. That magician, though, already is, uh, I mean, the tricks that he did in his audition, that Asian magician in the beginning. His name is Chen something. And another thing is that um, there's a YouTube channel that I really like called Card Shuffler 99 and, and they try to explain magic tricks and stuff and they cover some of the America's Got Talents. I already watched some of their explanations of his tricks and they're really good. So if you're really into magic and card tricks and learning about that stuff, check out Card Shuffler 99. So I'm going to end this here, but let me know what you guys think, uh, what you guys think of these acts so far. God bless.